Welcome to the Dental Handoff. I'm Dr. Kelly Tanner, and today I have the Barry Bartusia with me. Welcome, Pleasure Barry. to be with you. Yeah. So, so awesome to have you here. Yeah, so that long ago, Barry and I did a webinar for Young Innovation, and we wanted to break down a few talking points for you all from that in anticipation of our next courses. And the first topic for today, for this segment, is team appreciation. And Barry had a lot of great insights for how you've kept the same team for years. So yeah. I am going to first ask the Barry Martusiak about his team appreciation, and I'm going to kind of hone in on this. Well, but we bring an interesting perspective here. Yes. That's so kind of you to say that. But number one, you've been a teammate. Yes. Not of mine, of course, but I mean, you, you get it. And, yes. and you know, and we've all been a teammate of something yes. along the line. Yes. And so we know what makes us feel good. What makes us feel appreciated and flip side what makes us feel unappreciated undervalued and it's not always about this you know corporate studies show us year after year after year that this isn't always what it's about quite honestly you know to beat the dead horse a little bit Kelly, show them the love you got to show them the love yeah and that love is praise in public praise in public criticize in private have you ever been criticized in, in public? Yes, I have. Did, did you like it? No, I don't know anybody Can you does. still remember the yeah, moment? Yeah, I'm still you, shriveling. You a little bit like I'm that? still yeah. shriveling. Right, right. Nobody likes it. Nobody woke up this morning and said, oh, I can't wait for my boss to like really pick on me in front of somebody. Yeah. No. They want to feel, and, and it has to be Jen. Yes. You know, boy, Jen did a phenomenal temporary crown for you. My goodness gracious, you know, Picasso couldn't have done something. And I mean that very sincerely. So effusive praise in public. Somebody does something great, tell them in front of the team. Mm. Tell them in front of the team that maybe it's the next morning huddle. Love that. And it's again, you know, wow. Uh, boy, Gina just went out of her way to accommodate that family, to get them in and help them out and, and provide care for them. And you can just see them beaming and, and they should because they're getting recognized for something they did great. I'm a big gift card guy. Mm -hmm. What's um, your favorite gift card to get? Whatever the person wants. Okay. So I always ask in advance. So what's your favorite? Like if I was good to get you a gift card. Well, you did just give me a gift. <laughs> he said, what's your favorite wine? And I said, Prosecco. So he probably... I don't know if they have gift cards for that though, but nonetheless. I mean, you bought the real thing. I can't uh, drink okay. the gift cards. Well, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I guess, nah, nah, nah. So anyway, um, I would ask you what maybe it's Amazon. So I would make a little note and say, okay, Kel likes Amazon. So Kel does something good. I'm going to slip her a little $50 Amazon card. And that probably happens once or twice a month. It's going to write a little love note. Kel, you did such a great job with Mrs. Jones today. Please go and enjoy a dinner or whatever it may be. Some people it's Target, some people it's, you know, um, a steakhouse or something. Yeah. And it, dinner's on me tonight. Or let's say, you know, our team really had a great day. It's Tuesday and they just knocked it out of the park. Hey guys, um, Beth Ann's gonna pick lunch today, it's on me. I don't care, it's Capital Grill, whatever y'all want, you pick, awesome. I'm buying. And I don't like um, to just do that. I'll take an extra step and say, look, you guys really worked hard yesterday. We're gonna put in, we have a hard day today. Dinner's also on me. I want you to order extras to take home. Wow. So you have no issues. Okay, how do we work for your practice? No, so this is <laughs> <laughs> this is good because during 12 Wellness Way, Washington, <laughs> Pennsylvania, 15301. <laughs> So, but in our webinar, in our in our courses, Barry talks about all of these different ways that he shows the love, and we kind of banter. But I say banter, you know, kind of rift about what a team member wants, what a, what a team member wants, what a team member needs, and so we. <laughs> so this is what we do. This so is Barry, do. this is the Barry and Kelly show, but understanding that people aren't leaving the office because of necessarily burnout, but it's because of the culture and the environment. It's all culture. Practice. It's all relationships. Yeah. It's just all relationships, Kel. I, again, you're so eloquent. I just so appreciate you, but it's all about relationships and valuing those relationships and telling them, mm -hmm. you know, um, we're going to go to a funeral this year. Somebody, somebody, somebody you know is going to pass away. 
And one of the saddest things to me is you go past the casket and you say, you know, boy, Larry, you were a great guy. I wish I would have told you that. That's not how I do things. I tell Larry, you know what, Larry, you're a great guy. I really enjoy our friendship. You know, um, Amy at the front, you're just a superstar. Thank you so much. And, and really appreciate her. Yeah. Because they need to know. Yes. They can't read minds. Yeah. I mean, I can't read minds. Nobody can read minds. Yeah. Get it out. Let them know. So do you also do love languages at work? Do you, you know, like the love, five love languages? Do you know that at all? I ain't barely know English. <laughs> So you'll have to educate me, girl. Come on. All right. So you guys, the listeners, you may know about the love languages and how people feel loved or appreciated. And so there's different there's different ones like acts of service, um, affirmation, different different ones out there. So you take this little online test. If you guys don't know about it, it's um, you know the five love languages. You can log on. You can figure out what your love languages. That's also a way I think that you can appreciate someone as well and it not just be this but understand how a person loves to be loved so my number one is acts of service okay. so it's like i tell my kids i'm like you guys know that my little language is acts of service why are you not emptying the dishwasher <laughs> and they're like sorry mom we know and i'm like i don't care about gifts so, you know i mean i do but that's like another one but it's down the list understood but your top five if you learn and understand that and what and what really kind of plugs a person in yes. to how they feel loved, then speak in the language. Boy, that's something I really need to do. Okay, so you get yeah, to Yeah, I have a homework back. assignment now. <laughs> that and get Yay. So Well, I'm, when the plane's inevitably been delayed, there it's probably going to do the five languages as well. <laughs> All right, I got it. Good. Yes. Let's rock. So some takeaways from what you just said yeah. are show them the love, um, take time to show the love, appreciate in public, criticize yeah. in private, in private. Oh, yeah. and also too, I think, you know, you shared as well, it, we'll talk about it another episode too, how to get people in the right places too, because I think that's another right. way oh. to appreciate them and to say, Absolutely. I recognize that you love doing this or this is your strength. Could I trust you? I know that I feel like I can trust you with this. Like, You're absolutely spot on. I think that that's a way to appreciate that person's talents. It's it's absolutely huge because if you embrace something, you know, um, if you find your why, the how is so easy, and if you find your passion, and if you would put me, you know, um, in charge of computers, it's not going to turn out so well. I'm not going to like it. We're going to have a major blow up, and it's not my forte. So why would we do that? So to echo your comment, great. Have that person bloom where they are planted. Let them flourish. Yeah. And the, the other thing that I talked about, and I know that you feel the same way, is hire great people. Just get out of the way. Yeah. Just get, just get out of the way. Let them do their thing. You know, I just do this half the time at the practice. I wave at people, how do we, smile. So maybe this is another topic for another time, but how do we, and I say this with the utmost love, get the doctors to get out of our way to let us tell do, them, tell them, just tell them. Should, I mean, people might get concerned about that. No, or feel no, 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 my, my team, my team, love them, love them, love them. My team would be like, like you're talking too much today just go i know you want to talk football with him but just okay we're so they do this they give me the hook on the side they give me the this they give me the this sometimes to just crunch paper and like because i'm i'm ignoring them because i love college football right i love i love the Steelers. and they're like all right okay so yeah so get out of the way the doctor doesn't have to leave the doctor can follow okay i follow they tell me that, you know, my patients would tell you, him, he does half the time he's not doing anything. They run the whole practice. They just tell him what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Okay. Truth. Okay. Come by and visit. You'll see. Come by. And you have the address. 212 Wellness Bay, Washington, Pennsylvania. <laughs> well, Dr. Bertuzzi, Barry, thank you so much for this enlightening episode, this little brief. Cheers. Cheers. Short end of that stick. <laughs>
But thank you all for uh, being dedicated listeners. Go give us a five star review. Five stars, five stars, five stars five on stars. Apple Podcasts. Go like, share, and subscribe to the Dental Handoff. Thank you for all that you do. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Kel.